we're off to Mexico. So, no one knows the actual rules and regulations for the COVID stuff. So, the people behind the desk don't know as much as people on the website do. Very, very interesting, but we got through and it's absolutely fine now. Uh, having some spot of breakfast, Moroccan breakfast, I don't know what it is. Uh, sweet potato cubes, avocado, eggs, sounds good. Sorry if the background noise is loud, I just can't get it out of here. And then we are off to Montreal, uh, an hour changeover in Montreal, and then we are going to Cancun. I can't wait, I can't fucking wait. Um, it's going to be big. Uh, one of my friends, Nick's already out there. Uh, one of my clients, Nick's out there. Um, uh, Crystal, one of my other uh, ex-clients, but also a good friend of ours, is coming out in two weeks. Mill's out next week. So it, there's going to be a bunch of it. It's going to be mental. Declan's out at the end of the January. We're all in Playa del Carmen by the end of this month. So it's going to be fantastic. Can't absolutely wait. Carmen, what a day, 18 hours traveling, we're now here, so it is something like 10 past 7 and we are really rolling in the morning, took some melatonin last night, 5 hours sleep and we are good, already got my delivery app ready and go, going, had delivery last night, had our first, uh, me and uh, Nick got our first slice of tacos maybe, uh, some pork ones, are very very cheap but we didn't realise that you only get one small taco as opposed to like a multiple like kebab style thing but you normally get in the UK from the Turkish. We uh, we need to order more food next time, three dollars sounded too good to be true and it was, so uh, very very interested. Um, now it is seven whatever, uh, I'm ready to roll for the day, I've already done uh, my meditation, I've done my uh, journaling, I've done my reading, I've had a shower. Uh, upstairs we've got a pool and I will be going into that pool when the, when the weather gets a little bit better uh, in the morning for a little bit of a cold dip but uh, that's not today because it's fucking cold and uh, I don't know what time things are going to be open, what, what, what we're doing so tomorrow morning onwards we'll be getting that small dip in, in the morning uh, to kind of refresh us, like I'm not doing that cold shower bollocks but I will do, um, I will do something better um, or something new uh, in that morning time to kind of wake myself up and get very ready and ready to go. Uh, it is uh, time to go to Mi Dogos, which is uh, my dogs, which is a, a coffee shop that opens at 7am, apparently the best co-working space in uh, Dubai, in Playa Carmen, so I'm looking forward to that. The apartment that we've got, I'm going to show you around it now. It's actually really nice. Uh, we're gonna obviously have two people here, me and Mills. Uh, I think it'd be absolutely fine for both of us, uh, especially with the pool upstairs, the breakout areas, uh, the coffee shops around the corner, 60 minute walk to the gym. Uh, so we're gonna go and do the coffee shop, go and get loads of work done, then we're gonna go to the gym, then we're gonna go and find the supermarket and do all that type of stuff. I'm gonna bring you with me uh, to see what it's like on the first day. I have no clue. Uh, I've just done my reading and research beforehand. I know where the supermarket is, I know where the gym is, I know where the coffee shop is, but putting that in practice and making sure that you get through it all day without taking loads and loads of your time is going to be difficult. So we're off, it's cold, I need to go and put a hoodie on. Um, it's like 16 degrees now this morning um, and I think it's not going to be better. I think 16, 18 degrees today is going to be uh, about it. So we'll see what happens. But it's a uh, hoodie time, but it's, it's actually quite nice weather. So we'll, we'll get that on, we'll get rolling and I'll just show you around the apartment. So this is the outside bit, which is really cool. We've got one of those egg nest things, some tables and chairs. We've got the, the bed here, it's quite large. Um, and we've got plenty of storage, an extra sofa or bed if we need to. Uh, kitchen's only small but it's good there, table and chairs, bathrooms in there, uh, big big TV, that is so full of storage, loads of shit in there uh, and then take the desk for some afternoon work. I've got loads of stuff so it's massive, this is my side of the cupboard that I've already de designated, the other side of the cupboard is going to be Mills when she gets here but overall really really happy with this, it's going to be great to kind of uh, fully fledge get in there, still got some shit left over, I need to move over uh, but overall it's really really good. The upside upstairs area which is fucking so nice when it gets warm it's going to be phenomenal to come up here but as you can see right in the thick of it nice little pool beaches that way yeah it's fucking great the outside area bit here which is like a barbecue area which is going to be great to set out on if it's warm overall fucking sick place. 
the first time and the first time that I go places, I don't really like to video record it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and walk on my own uh, without my camera because that's probably a good safe to do the thing to do as a tourist um, in the first time, and then I'll vlog it as we go. But I will get some footage of, of the coffee shop when I get there. 16 minute walk should be too bad, and then we will get on with the day. Uh, excited, like as you can see, it's a fucking decent place. It's got all the things that I need. Uh, breakout things for like you know stress reduction. Uh, it's really close to the to everything that we need. 16 minutes is not too far. Um, it's going to be big enough for both of us, and it's going to be it's going to be yeah, it's going to be wicked. I've already seen our first gecko, uh, which was hanging outside uh, uh, just last night. So I've definitely got some friends here. It's going to be hilarious. So yeah, cracking with the day. Business as usual. It doesn't matter where it is. We are a we're gonna get work done, B, we're gonna service our clients the best way we can, and we I am going to make sure I get my training in and some food. I haven't done any food, so I'm gonna to go to the food shop on the way back from the gym, uh, and we'll see what we can get. I think it's gonna be absolutely fine. Uh, here, I hope, hopefully I can find somewhere to buy some cheap stuff from. Not cheap stuff, but like uh, already cooked stuff, because the, the kitchen facilities here aren't great. Uh, they're not an air fryer, it's not, you know, it's not the usual stuff, like that's not a rice cooker that I'm used to. But we'll make the do and uh, we'll get what we need to get. And uh, if we can make some adjustments like microwave or rice, get already pre cooked chicken or something like that, that would be great. But uh, if I have to cook and I have to prep it, it's absolutely fine. Um, need a whisk for my cream of rice. I've got no protein as well, so I'm gonna have to make uh, a, a botched job of it today in terms of uh, cal counting my calories. But it'll only be one day and then back to normal plan. I get some protein powder today. I'll get some uh, chicken, bagels, rice steak, yogurt, or, or soy yogurt, or any type of uh, non-dairy yogurt, and berries, and that, that's kind of my meal plan done and dusted, so we'll see how that goes. It's been a big day, I didn't really film that much. The gym was absolutely packed, I wasn't expecting that, so I didn't get any workout video done. It influenced the gym anyway, so to be honest, there's so many people that believe cameras are show off, but we have done a four day work, uh, eaten at a nice place, the chicken place that I put the pictures of last. Uh, we're gonna go and get supermarket stuff now, me and Nick. Uh, get everything we need to get for the next couple of days. We've got prep obviously because we've got a meal plan to kind of follow. And then it is an evening. I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna go to the roof, uh, read up there, do very, very little away from my phone, and then it is posing practice before bed, and then it is bed. So I'll get that videoed and we'll see how how long we last in the supermarket without getting told off. If we do. But if we just do the math on these, uh, the three levels. So I didn't do posing practice or anything else tonight. Went shopping as you've seen, but my knee is killing, so the limitations of my knee means that I need to rest it and make sure that I'm able to walk tomorrow. So I did a lot of walking today, uh, gym, back to home, back to somewhere else, back to there, supermarket this, and it's just been a lot. We went down to the beach as well, so I need to take care of this knee. So uh, I am now sitting watching Adam uh, released some new trainings this week. Um, Adam is, as is Mocha Belt in my Q&A video, uh, my mentor, big inspiration. Uh, Got some really good, exciting things coming out for the, the mental shit that group that I'm in. Always helping me uh, level up my business and making sure that I am earning enough money to live this lavish lifestyle in the house in Mexico with my empty, uh, my dirty, dirty dishes. But yeah, it's all good and dusted. I get to get to train. To, uh, sorry, I get to close and practice tomorrow. But that is the end of the vlog for today. So that's the first day in Mexico. Uh, quite a lot for one day. But it's about the adaptability. It's about me getting back into a routine straight away, and I would have had no other way. So it's day number one. I'm really excited to be here. The beach, the sunshine, the coffee shop. I couldn't have pitched it much perfect to get into one one place. You know, I um I normally take two, three, five, six days to get familiar with places, but Play.com is super easy. It's in grids, so you can just literally walk and just match yourself up to the grid where you're at. The gym is really, really good. Uh, the coffee shop is great. The sun sunshine is always best, and the apartment's really nice as well. So that is the end of vlog number, I don't know, one for Mexico, and there's so much more to come. I spent the day planning what I'm going to do the vlogs on and what we're going to be working on, and showing you guys over the next couple of weeks. We've got well, we've got Vegas coming up. That's going to be mental. We've got going to the cenotes. We've got uh, the Chichen Itza, which means I finish off the seven wonders of the world. Uh, we've got. Uh, exciting stuff with business, my training progress as well, like the performance and my, um, my another six weeks or 12 weeks with Darren 
uh, in this muscle building phase we've got all of the lovely stuff that come from being in a different country we're going to do a, day, a full day of eating a Mexican food which is going to be great and me and Mills are going to vlog separately for that but we're going to go and hunt some vegan foods down which I haven't been able to find for her and we're going to just enjoy ourselves while we're here and I'm going to keep you all up to date with that so guys thank you very much for watching like subscribe uh, tell your friends uh, use a Stephen Bartlett quote and if you are watching don't tell anyone about it have a nice day